against the gathering. The opening contest for Total Nonstop Action, live on pay per view, is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, he is the captain of Team AAA from Mexico City, Mexico, Juventude Guerrera. It was two weeks ago tonight when Juventude. JB Say It, captain of Team AAA, led that four man squad from Mexico to victory in the first ever America's X Cup. Two weeks from tonight, it's another opportunity against Team Canada. Introducing, representing Team Canada from Windsor, Ontario. This is Petey Williams. Scott Damore, TNA's Canadian representative, has chosen Petey Williams as a last-minute substitute for Teddy Hart, who suffered a recent knee injury. We understand that he's holding Teddy Hart out until the March 10 pay-per-view. Petey Williams, his replacement, a three-year pro from the Can-Am Wrestling School, the same class as Chris Saban, the X Division champion. And introducing from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, he is the captain of Team Been waiting for the bell. Don, we're already underway in this three-way matchup. Well, I'll tell you right now, it looked like Hoover Kill Guerrero Mike knew that Jerry Lynn would be coming for him right from the start, especially after Team AAA won America's X Cup. They're not wasting any time. And how about this move? Petey Williams coming in for Teddy Hart. I think it's a good move on DeMore's part. You save Teddy Hart, plus you don't show all your cards. Have to also talk about Jerry Lynn and the fact that last Wednesday, sure, he felt the sting of Jeff Jarrett's guitar shot and also felt the wrath of Jarrett when he was fired for failing to win the America's X Cup back on February the 11th. Like myself, like ring announcer Jeremy Borash, like bell ringer Tiny, ticket taker Sarah, Jerry Lynn has been rehired by the new NWA director of authority, Vince Russo, and you know how upset Jared has to be to have his decisions overturned, and specifically overturned by Vince Russo of all people. You got that right. You can see the look on Jeff Jarrett's face. That was the last person he expected, Mike, to come out there as the new director of authority. The last time those two were in this same building together, Jeff Jarrett was giving Russo the beating of his life as Petey Williams makes a great dive on Petey Hoven. Williams goes airborne, quick follow-up cover, and able to get a two count on Hooven to Guerrera. You know, Don, as we see the other members of Team Canada up on the stage, we see Jack Evans very quickly. Then it was Teddy Hart, Hotshot Johnny Devine, and the Canada representative, Scott Damore as well. Well, everybody's got a big interest in this right here. The excitement that the America's X Cup brought was international. Team Canada, oh, is Jerry Lynn going for a quick one? Wow. Petey Williams there to make the save with the leg drop off the top. And there you see Team Mexico from AAA. It was quickly Hector Garza, Abismo Negro, and Mr. Aguila. Like I was saying, Team Canada heard about the great American's X Cup, where tri Team AAA won. They said, no, we're the best X Division type wrestlers in the world, so they want to get involved. Mike, this thing is just growing and growing and getting out of control. You know, Don, when the NWA Board of Directors stepped down, their final act was to name Vince Russo as the Director of Authority. We know that Jeff Jarrett and lawyer Tom T. Stenenbaum very unhappy with the decision. TNA owners, they were behind the appointment of Russo. And after Eric Watts lost his job, Vince Russo lobbied for that position. With all the problems that we've had, when there's more than one authority figure, it's important to have a single voice in charge. We understand that Don Callis is now in the role that he was originally hired for. He's a consultant, and he's banned from the asylum. I was getting ready to ask, where is Don Callis? He's been banned. You know what? I like that decision. It's a good decision. We saw when the two of them were together. You could never get anything done. There was always Impossible. the friction. It was always the friction. Impossible to coexist with those two dueling authority figures. And we will hear directly from Vince Russo tonight. He's not asking for forgiveness. He's just asking for a chance. Basement drop kick by Juventud Guerrera directly into the face of Jerry Lynn. The action has been fast. It's been fierce. As you see Juventud going for the pin and Petey Williams 
Ryan's not going to let it happen. First pin, first submission, wins this three-way dance to kick off tonight's total non-stop action. And it's great to be back home right here at the broadcast position, Don. Hey, listen, I'm not taking away anything from Scott Hudson. did a fantastic job, but it's so great to have you back, Mike, today. It just feels, it just feels normal again. Oh, good teamwork there as Hoop and Toot and Jerry Lynn work together for the common cause. Ending with the DDT and Lynn goes to cover. Petey Williams gets a two count, turns his attention to Hooventude and another near fall. I'll tell you something, one of the greatest things I think that, that Vince Russo did to start this off, not just bringing you back and Bor Jerry Borash back and, and Tiny and Sarah, but getting Jerry Lynn Absolutely. as the captain of Team NWA. This guy has meant so much to NWA TNA. Nobody, I can't see anybody else in that captain's role but Jerry Lynn. Think of the roller coaster ride in his career for the past year and a half. The problems that he had initially with Don Callis. Fired by Callis at that point. He comes back only to be fired by Jared and now reinstated by Vince Russo along with the rest of us. What, did you ever think we'd be saying that? Are you kidding? That you would be reinstated by Vince Russo? Never. Unbelievable. As I told Russo, I certainly appreciated being rehired, but I'm not indebted to him, and that's the understanding that we have. To the oh, great kick by Hoobie! Perfectly placed drop kick into the chest of, and the shoulder of Jerry Lennon. Remember that shoulder injury from a couple of weeks ago? Hoobie with that 9-11 Hoobie driver where he dropped Jerry Lynn right down on his shoulder, and no shock, no surprise to us. Then he's going right back to work on that previously injured shoulder. Here's the pin attempt on Jerry Lynn. And Jerry Lynn, too close to the ropes. Senior official Rudy Charles calls for the break. I'll tell you what, as you can see right there, you can see Jerry Lynn grabbing that left shoulder. Not to mention the, the pain that was inflicted on him last week by Jeff Jarrett. But this guy's a warrior. This means too much. He's got too much to prove to the rest of Team NWA. As you see Hoobie right there working, working on the arm and the... Pulling it back on Petey Williams. Staking out the arm, barring the arm of Petey Williams. And you'll notice while Jerry Lynn made his way back up to his feet, he was favoring the shoulder. You can see that he's even holding onto the shoulder. He was holding the arm down, almost limp at his side. I'll tell you right now, Jerry Lynn will take a pin over Petey Williams, but you know he wants to win this match by putting Juventud Guerrero down. Oh, That's the most important. Oh, did you see that? He almost broke his back. Oh, my gosh, Juventud fighter. If check, you see check Team this NWA, out. yes. Sanjay Dutt, Elix Skipper, prime time in the middle, and the X Division champion Chris Saban on the right. You gotta wonder what's been going through Skipper's mind. Last week he thought he was gonna be the captain. Then that has been Jerry Lynn's been back reinstated. But it's a positive for and Team NWA to you have want, Jerry Lynn back. Absolutely. You don't want anything to break up that team. They were so close. Lynn able to reverse Williams, shoots him off into the corner, but charges at him, catches the boot. Sunset flip, oh, double pin, one, off the German, two, no. no! Sunset flip by Williams, the German suplex by Jerry Lynn, and a two count. This match, Mike, so important, so important to get the momentum, so important to send a message to your teammates. Look, I'm representing us, I'm representing Canada, or I'm representing America or Mexico, and I beat these guys, not just one, but two. It is so important, and here he goes. No question, you send a message. To the other teams, two weeks from tonight, it's Team AAA, Hooven Tu Guerrero, the captain, against, oh, this man, Petey Williams, is part of Team Canada. Hoobie's Hoobie's got it. In, two. Oh, no, no, he escaped. He escaped the two. I'll tell you right now, it's Petey Williams showing himself to be just as competitive as, as Jerry Lynn and Hooven Tu Guerrero. And he's in trouble now. Importance of this matchup evident as you see the wrestlers all around the TNA Asylum. Wrestlers from Mexico, wrestlers from Canada, and from the United States with oh. the NWA DDT out of the corner by Lynn. I don't know if he got him all the way or not. No, he, it looks like he might have caught his legs into That's the ropes right thought. there, which actually was good for Hoover to Guerrero because it would have been over. Perfect defensive move if that was Hoover's plan to counter the DDT, hooking the ropes, and stopping the impact of the blow. Oh, look at this right there. Oh, Petey Williams, that was fantastic. Here Tilt the world, Russian leg sweep, and Hoover no. Two, just in time. That's one thing you've got to be. You can't, you have to keep eyes in the back of your head. You cannot afford to have somebody pin the other man. That's right. Because then you lose. First pinner submission. Wins this three-way matchup. Hoover takes care of Petey Williams. Now for Lynn. Jerry able to reverse it. Float under. Out of the fireman's carry, going to put the oh, TKO, no. and he hit the TKO. And here comes Petey Williams, and he nails it. Splash Two. out the top. What? He caught it. What? Jerry Lynn hit.
with the TKO, but Petey Williams took advantage of it. The winner of the match representing Team Canada, Petey Williams! Huge win for the Canadians! What happened there, Mike, was when Terry Lynn landed, he hit his shoulder again, and he hit it so hard that he couldn't get on top of Luba Cabrera and get the pin, and Petey Williams stole the opportunity. He was opportunistic, and he took it, and he got the victory. There you see the other members of Team Canada. Teddy Hart, the representative, Scott Damore, congratulating him. Two weeks from tonight, it's Team Canada versus Team AAA. And you know, Don, speaking of TNA, we again have been recognized by the media. Let's check out this video.